guys welcome to book miss day six thank you guys so much for joining me for another day on this lovely little book miss adventure that we have going on today i'm going to be talking about all of my five star books i had of the year 2023 i am so excited to talk about all these books some of these books you've definitely heard of before maybe you haven't maybe you're new here the book community and you're just looking to see like what people love and just finding things so yeah but today we're going to talk about all of those i may have some 2024 five star predictions as well at the end of this video so that's gonna be really fun to dive into and just to see and possibly look back on this video and be like oh yeah that was a five star or like oh no that was not a five star whatsoever so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm really excited to talk about all these books and honestly let's just get right into it i just want to talk about books it's my favorite thing to do and i'm ready for it so let's just go ahead and get on in so the first book that i have that was a five star for me this past year was daisy hates by jessa hastings i have actually not finished this entire series yet but i remember loving this book this book is the same universe as magnolia parks which is like the first book of this series but I think what made this book such a five star for me is number one the characters I feel like the characters were so much more likable in this book they were just amazing I love them but also like in this book we get like little footnotes let me see if I can like find a page that has like a lot of them on there so it has like little footnotes like that in here and I was like that's so cool I've never seen that in the book before it really drew me in and honestly it provided so many different like little thoughts that like our characters would have and you get to see like so much more of the characters through this and I just loved it so much like I thought it was so cool Jessa Hastings writing is so magical it's so beautiful I really need to finish this series that is like one of my biggest plans for 2024 is to finish this series I love this book and I think everybody should read it switching gears this next one is actually a part of a series and it's also a fantasy and that is Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass this is a part of the Throne of Glass series I believe this is the third fourth book of the series it depends on when you read assassin's blade i think i read assassin's blade third um or after crown of midnight maybe i don't remember but air of fire specifically i gave a five stars like this series in general has just been so good but air of fire is my favorite book so far out of this entire series the character development in here hold on let's talk about that the character development in this book is what made the entire series for me um if you have not been around and you don't know what throne of glass is it's basically about this girl selena sardothian she is an assassin she goes to this kingdom and she becomes like the assassin or the king's assassin or something like that like she's training or challenging other people that also want to be the king's assassin to be the king's like it's some kind of trial thing or whatever and you get to follow her in this world as she goes through that and I believe that it was like a one book it was just going to be one book and then Sarah J Maas was like oh my gosh this whole entire universe she wrote it at 16 which I think is so cool but that we have this entire universe and then we get air fire which picks up so much of like the plot and like what drives the book and like develops the characters and you get to meet so many new characters in this book which i freaking love i just i need to finish this series i need to i'm on the next book of this series which i think is queen of shadows and i need to pick it up because this book is just so good and if like the series is anything like this one or like even akatar like are you kidding me akatar is like one of my favorite books ever just i need to continue it but air of fire is on this list it's just so good so going back to just our regular contemporary romance we have wildfire by hannah grace this book came out in October and I read it and it was an immediate five stars for me. It's about two main characters, Russ and Aurora. They meet up one night at a college party. Russ is a hockey player. Aurora is just like an everyday student at this college and they kind of have a one night stand and they're like, okay, cool. Um, we're going to continue on with our lives. But they end up at the same exact summer camp that summer to staff it. And like you get to see like not only their relationship, but I feel like Hannah Grace is really good about writing their own characters, having like their own plot and having like their own mind. Because like Russ is going through his own thing. Like he's very much like going to retriever, like anxiety. And then we have Aurora who has like all these family issues and she's trying to just work on herself and not having to rely on any guy. And just like Russ steps in and she's like, oh my gosh, but I said I wasn't going to have any guys in my life. But now like this amazing dude in my life like I don't know what to do I don't know what to choose and so we get to follow that kind of storyline which I freaking love like it just it doesn't feel like just like a hockey romance just about two kids who are just growing and learning and developing feelings and like learning what to do which is just so relatable especially like to me because I'm like I'm in college I'm doing the growing up thing I'm figuring out what I need to do and I think this book just makes that so relatable if you're in that time of your life and so I really connected with it I loved it and for that it got a five stars 
So guys, I think we all know what the next book that I'm bringing up is probably gonna be. It's probably on everyone's five-star list for 2023. And that is Fourth Being by Rebecca Yaros. I did end up buying the holiday edition of it. I wasn't going to, and then I walked into Books A Million and they had it there whenever I went to go get Iron Flame. And I was like, okay, I just have to. It's here, I'm gonna save money because I'm gonna have a coupon that I'm gonna use. So I basically got it for free. If we really think about it, I saved $25 off of a purchase. So I really got this book for free. There's also like a sticker on here. Let's see if I can get it off or if it's gonna be annoying. I didn't realize that it was on here, guys. Okay, it came off. If you don't know what this book is about, I don't know how to help you. I feel like everyone and their mother knows about this book. Like even people who don't read, I feel like they know about this book because like us readers, we can't stop talking about it. Basically this girl, Violet, she goes off to this war college. She basically becomes a writer. She learns how to ride dragons, learns how to fight, all these other things. But really she just wants to be in the scribe quadrant, but she can't be because her mother's like, well, you can't do that. You have to learn how to fight. There's a bunch of politics stuff going on in here. It's really great. If you want a book that is basically divergent with how to train your dragon, here you go. This is amazing. I love it so much. Also a shadow man in here. You know, if you love characters like Asriel, if you like characters like in the shadows between us, this is your book. I really liked it. Um, this is a five star book for me, like hands down, like immediately after I was done with it, I didn't even have to think about it. I was like five stars. It's so good. This next book, guys, I I cannot believe the way that this author's writing is in this book. Just wow. Genuinely wow. And that is One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. I've never read an Olivia Blake book other than this one. This is the first one that I picked up and I picked it up this year. It was just so freaking good. I remember sitting down and reading it and being like, wow, I never thought I would love a book like this. So this book is set in modern day New York and it's about these two witch families. You have a witch family that has a bunch of girls and then you have a witch family that is just three boys and their dad which and it has like the end pages but where like the family pictures and everything which i think is so cute but this is basically a romeo and juliet retelling two times over so like two sisters two brothers from these separate families who are supposed to hate each other because the mom and dad hate each other with their entire lives. So you get two different kind of storylines. Well, technically you get kind of like three almost throughout this entire book, which I think is so interesting. And it's just so beautifully written. It's just lyrically beautiful. It's so hard to find something like that in a book, like to call a book lyrically beautiful. But Audley Blake does it so well. I even bought the special edition of one for my enemy like i got it from illumicrate i had to because i love this book so much i really want to go through the entire book again and reread it and like annotate it and everything just because of how much i love this book if you are looking for like a lyrically beautiful book to just dive into and to just fall in love with each character and the plot and everything about it that is also magical definitely pick up one for my enemy it's really beautiful it's stunning i love it and i think everyone should read it all right so the next two books i have are part of the same series and that is the chestnut that spring series we have hopeless and reckless hopeless is kate and willis story and reckless is theo and winter story both of these books were five stars the entire honestly the entire series is a five star series for me i love every single book in them but these two specifically are my favorites i have actually read this book twice this year alone and then reckless i want to reread it so bad my friend is actually currently reading the series she's like borrowing the books from me as she goes and her next one is reckless guys i'm so excited for her to get through this book you guys have no idea i've been begging her all year to read it ever since i picked it up i was like please read this series you're gonna love it it's country men like cowboys lights come on let's go but basically in this entire series you have the eaton brothers the eaton brothers each get their own book there's five brothers five books and you kind of get to follow along all these characters as they go through all their things and this one specifically is a single dad living on a ranch and this one is i mean you can kind of tell by the cover it's accidental pregnancy it's the best like pregnancy trope book i've ever read in my entire life i'm not one for a pregnancy trope but this one so good theo eaton always every single day these book these books both have kids i the way that elsie silver writes kids in her books i love it i'm here for it all day every day five stars always the next two books are also from the same series which you guys should all know you haven't heard me talk about this series yet in this video and we all know how obsessed i am with this series and that is the akatar series we have specifically a court of mist and fury this entire series is a five star series but specifically a court of mist and fury and a court of silver flames are my five stars from this series just mist and fury like we all know i've been talking about it for months i'm annotating this series i've actually just finished the core series and that's going to be its own video and i'm going to do a separate one for akasif but mist and fury the emotions were so high like my, my friend is actually currently reading this series and we both were like sarah j mass puts crack 
in the Akatar series. I'm not kidding. There's something so addicting about these books that's just like wow oh my gosh they are so good like i could flip to any page in here and i know exactly what's going on because i love it so much so many different little things and being able like i've read this book three times this year i read it physically twice and then i audio booked it as well and it's just so good if you have not picked up the series i highly encourage you to even if you are a fantasy reader you need to pick up this series it's so wonderful this one follows pharaoh which is one of the sisters um in the first book she gets taken it's like a beauty and the beast retelling and you get to meet all like the different high lords you get to meet the world prithian all these things and then you get into this book which introduces more of a plot that continues on into the series and just makes it so great and then you have a court of silver flames which deals with one of the guys that you in this series and then also another Archeron sister. Silver Flames is just so good. It's also thick. This one's like 700 pages. I would read it any day still. It's so good. I also got the Barnes and Noble exclusive version, which I'm going to end up getting the orange version just so it can go along with like my other ones right there. These two books, we had we had to know that it was going to go in this video. Like there was no way I was not filming this video and not talking about these books. <laughs> All right. And then the last book that I have for my 2023 five stars is the Lady of Darkness series by Melissa K. Rowrich. This is actually a series I have not finished yet, but like this book, oh no, especially the second one, Lady of Shadows, I think that one's like my five star, but it's like, I have to start off with Lady of Darkness because it's also the one that I just picked up. But I found this book series through my friend who told me, was like, you need to read this book series. And so I started on spring break. I couldn't put it down for forever. And then I think I got caught up with like something and I just haven't finished the series yet. I have all the books. I just need to finish reading them. But we have this girl named Scarlet. She is an assassin for the Assassin Lord and she has been trained since and she was a child to go and do all these things and like her mom dies one night and something happens one night where she gets like trapped she has to figure her way out there's an enemies to lovers plot line in this which is just so freaking good this book almost feels like resand and farrah coated almost because it's like you get fey in here you get vampires you get all these different kind of creatures and then one day she's given an assignment from the assassin lord to go kill the fire prince what's gonna happen we don't know we don't know and then other things are happening children are disappearing that she loves her friends are just going through some stuff like it's just it's so good there's no way like to even tell you guys all what goes on in this book and like the different plots and the different political stuff that's going on and you get two different worlds in here which is so cool the way that this book series is it's just so good i really wish that people would talk about it more i probably will start talking about it so much in the new year whenever i start finishing the series because it's just so good like i have to it's it's going to be talked about for forever so all right so those are all of my five star books for 2023 and now we're gonna get into just a few five star predictions that i have for 2024 kind of based off of some books that i've read already this year so the first one that i have is another olive blake book and that is masters of death i honestly don't know anything about this book i do have also the special edition of it just because it came with one for my enemy so i was like okay cool and then i got the original because i have the original the first one i have to have the original of the next one i don't really know what this book is about i think it has like angels in here and like vampires death personified kind of thing i think that's really cool it's interesting if it's anything like lyrically beautiful as like one for my enemy was then i think i'm gonna love this book i don't really know much about it i just i really do think it's gonna be a five star book i think anything olive blake writes is gonna be five star for me i really want to read the atlas six by her because i heard it's like dark academia like pretty cool so we shall see i just I was about to hit myself in the face with that. The next one, which I think I'm so excited for, and I really think it's going to be a five-star book just at any time, is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I've heard so many things about this book series. Or I think it's a series now. Yeah. I believe the second one comes out sometime in 20... 24 maybe possibly i don't know but i finally got my hands on an actual copy of it because it came out in november the same day as iron flame just november 7th so many releases anyway but i just know that this is like a hunter like two assassins kind of going at each other i think or like we have the girl who's the assassin and then we have the guy kai who's like the prince their enemies turn to lovers i don't know i know that it has the dagger scene in there like i'm excited for that so this is definitely like one of my top three five star predictions for 2024 and the last one kind of switching gears from like fantasy and all that kind of stuff i do have a regular just fiction book that i think is going to be five stars for me and that is adelaide by genevieve wheeler i have not heard anybody talk about this book but the reason i think it's going to be five stars it's just about life it's just about following this character as she's living in london and 
and as she's trying to just figure out the world and she's like am i enough for somebody is love enough for me is loving this person who treats me so bad like is that enough to fulfill me and you get so many different like life hard-hitting questions like that and i just love those types of books i love books that are like very character driven and very it's all about the character it's all about knowing their brain and for that reason i really think that i'm gonna love this book i think it's gonna be five stars for me and i'm so so excited to read it but yeah these are the three five star predictions i have for 2024 there are a lot more that i actually do have on my list i just i can't i don't have enough time to talk about them today if you guys want a whole video maybe in the new year of me talking about all of my five star predictions please let me know i'll do it i think that would be a really fun video actually just to like predict what's gonna be in each book and like figuring out the plot i think that could be pretty fun but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and like and stick around for the rest of bookmas i'm so excited we're already halfway through which i think is just crazy and yeah i love you all so much and i'll see you all tomorrow peace out <laughs>